Hi, welcome to First Pour One. I'm Nick. And I'm David. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about wine-based cocktails for the summer. Um, so first, we're going to start off with sangria. But before we get to that, Dave, why don't you tell them a little bit about your background with uh, wine? Well, um, I, uh, I came from a background, a traveling background. So we, uh, I uh, visited many countries that produce wine. Um, however, um, I didn't really uh, flesh out my knowledge of the, of the wine in the various countries um, when I was there. Um, but so when I went to college, I decided to expand my, my horizons of wine. And so I took several classes and, um, and then began branching out. And also being friends with Nick here, um, who is an avid wine connoisseur, um, has definitely been instructive to me and, uh, and I've tried many new things. Nice. And uh, you have tends to make sangria from time to time, uh, as I know. What were some of your uh, your favorite memories of that? Uh, I have to say I'm, I'm pretty much a, uh, an ad-lib type cook. I, uh, I just take what's at hand and I try to make something good out of it. So I must admit there's been uh, several four liter jugs of Carlo Rossi uh, sangria in my past, which had delicious fresh fruit from the market put in there. And uh, it was usually a success because it never had any left by the time we were done with the night. We're going to go a little more upscale on that today. We've got some yellowtail uh, Pinot Noir. Um, and ideally what you're looking for here with, uh, with sangria is a nice red wine with a bit of fruit to it, a little more acidity. Um, this might be a little on the smooth side, but we're going to give it a shot. Because sangria, you know, you pave your own wine, so it's pretty good. So I'm going to put this in, and uh, I'm going to give you the brandy. And can you run me just under a half a cup of this? Absolutely. Okay. I am going to put in about two-thirds of this bottle. Now, what type of, uh, this is Christian Brothers brandy, does it matter uh, what kind of brandy you put in, or? You know, um, generally it's whatever you got on hand. Okay. Um, um, it's whatever you got on hand. Uh, in this case, uh, I use Christian Brothers, that's typically the brandy I use, um, but, you know, whatever you want. Um, and you're also going to need a little Grand Meunier. Um, you know, usually these sangrias are a little fortified with some sort of spirit. I'm just going to eyeball this. If you're going for a bit under, you know, quarter cup or so. Um, unfortunately, you don't have a lot of ground on yet. So, we're going to go light on it. Um, so, if you just want to pour that in. Seriously. And I'm going to work on putting our fruit in. We've got some apples, we've got some plums, got some strawberries and some oranges. And we'll just get these in there. And then we will get right back to this um, a little bit later. Throw it all in there. He didn't see that. <laughs> I need a couple on the way to make sure they're still good. Delicious. <clears throat> well, you got them. Now, do you want to, how much fruit would you like to uh, normally put in the sangria? Um, it's really personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, we might have a little more fruit than... We might have some. It, it's really fruit salad, but it's delicious. You just, fruit salad juice. It'll all muddle together and you'll get some really nice flavors out of it. And we're going to check back on this a little bit later. But before we get there, we're going to do some white wine spray soup. So, stay tuned. Alright, so we've just put the sangria in the fridge. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to show you a quick, easy summer drink. This is white wine spray soup. You see them everywhere. Pretty simple. You've got a dry white wine. So be that Chardonnay, be it Riesling. Uh, you can use Sauvignon Blanc, which we've got here today. We've got a nice yellow tail. Um, and some club soda. And uh, some lemon. So, without further ado, I'm going to crack this open. And we've got, uh, we've got four drink glasses today because we've got uh, some of the ladies helping us out on the other side of the camera. Hi, guys. Okay. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> so, it's four ounces of Sauvignon Blanc, which in this case is about there on the glass. Do you want to crack up the soda work on? Absolutely. Oh, be careful of uh, some water <laughs> expansion. <laughs> Sometimes it will do that. Is it good? Yes, yeah, it goes. That'll happen. You just gotta, you just gotta push on, man. Come on. Show <laughs> sure everybody you can do it. It's bubbling merrily. All right. Now you want both these things well, well chilled. And so now we're just gonna add about two ounces. Give it some carbonation. And we got a little too much of that one. Alright, so let's give it a shot. 
Cheers. All right, cheers. Mm. Nice, light, you get a lot of the on block, but it's refreshing. Yeah, it's lovely, yeah, yeah citrus tinge to it. Yeah, so it, it's not going not gonna to overwhelm you in the heat. Um, but if you want something a little fruitier, something a little more, uh, a little more punchy, um, we're gonna have the sangria shortly, uh, just a second. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Hey, so we've waited a couple hours now, and uh, the sangria's had some real time to come together and get all those fruit flavors to kind of marry and, and get good and happy and make Dave, you know, finger looking good. Yeah, Dave's finger looking good. Um, <laughs> so, without further ado, let's give it a shot. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure that we can even scoop out some fruit. Some fruit. fruit. If I can get a spoon. Ah. That can be on set spoon surgery. I'm going around the kitchen. So, uh, get some down. of this nice fruit in here. Got some apples and some strawberries. Mostly apples in that. A couple of plums in there. Plums. If you recall from earlier. Alright. So what is my friend? I am. Looking up. Mmm, get all that fruit. Mm, smells really citrusy and apple. And this is really nice over ice in the summer. You know, you just you want to sit out back and just it's very nice. Um, with this with this wine, it's um it's not quite as it's not sickly sweet. It's very crisp. Yeah, that Pinot Noir. We tried a little of it on its own, on its own. and much for surprise, it was a lot more acidic than we had predicted. Um, so it actually works out very well for this. This is this is delicious. Yeah, some of the uh, the sweeter red fruit, like the um, the strawberries, really uh, really rounds off that wine. It's even more pinoty than it was when it went in. Is that a word? No, it is not. <laughs> um, so, anyways, um, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll have what we did up on the site, so you can you can follow along at home, or you can make your own sangria. That's part of the fun of it. Um, and the same thing with what went Spitzer. We'll have the uh, we'll have the uh, recipe up on there. Uh, clearly, the heat's getting me. I can't concentrate through the wine. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching guys, uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, at First Pour Wine, uh, go to the site, firstpourwine.com, um, you know, subscribe to us on YouTube, we look forward to seeing you, and, uh, we'll see you next week. Enjoy. Cheers.